Hey, what's up, gamers? Ready to stop getting smacked around in blood strike? Yeah, I know the pain. You're feeling like you're always one step behind, like everyone else has got some sixth sense, and you're just there, clueless. Well, that ends today. We're gonna fix that bad game sense of yours, and by the time we're done, you'll be outsmarting everyone. So grab some snacks, maybe some energy drinks, cause this video is gonna be your new best friend. Alright, let's start with the basics. What the heck is game sense anyway? Is it some magical ability that only the pros have? Nah, it's something you can develop, like a muscle. Think of game sense as your in-game spidey sense. It's that feeling you get when you just know something's about to go down. You see, game sense is all about understanding the game's mechanics, predicting enemy movements, and making smart decisions. And if you're thinking, but I don't have that, don't worry. We're about to change that. So, how do you develop this magical power? Let's break it down, step by step, like we're learning to dance. First things first, know the map like you know the back of your hand. I mean, seriously, if you can't tell me where every corner, hiding spot, and sniping position is, then we've got work to do. Imagine you're on a date with the map. You need to get to know it, love it, and maybe even write it some cheesy poetry. Roses are red, violets are blue, this map is my BFF, and it's better than you. Why? Because knowing the map is like having a cheat sheet during a test. You'll know where enemies are likely to pop out, where the best cover is, and where you can pull off those sneaky ambushes. The more you know the map, the more confident you'll feel. And confidence, my friend, is key to good game sense. I know it sounds crazy, but just by learning the map, you'll see some real improvements in your game. And guess what? I'm dropping a whole new video just on this topic. You don't want to miss it, so hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 1k, and you could be the one to push us over the top. Now, let's talk about the enemies. They're like annoying mosquitoes, always buzzing around, trying to ruin your day. But guess what? You can become the ultimate mosquito swatter by predicting their movements. Enemies in Bloodstrike aren't as unpredictable as they think they are. They have patterns, and once you learn to spot them, you'll be the one calling the shots. It's like being a fortune teller, but instead of reading palms, you're reading news. So how do you predict their movements? Start by paying attention to the way they play. Is your opponent a camper, waiting for you to come to them? Or are they the kind that rushes in, guns blazing? Once you figure out their style, you can outsmart them. If you know a camper's favorite spot, you can avoid it or set up a trap. If they're a rusher, you can bait them into a position where they're at a disadvantage. Next up, timing. This one's a biggie, and it separates the pros from the average Joes. Good timing means knowing when to engage, when to hold back, and when to make a run for it. If you rush in too soon, you're toast. Wait too long, and you might miss your chance. Here's a tip, listen to the sounds of the game. Footsteps, gunfire, even the quiet moments, they all give you clues about what's happening around you. Use that info to make smart decisions. If you hear someone reloading, that's your chance to strike. If it suddenly gets quiet, that might mean the enemy is setting up a trap, so be cautious. Now, let's talk about weapons. You need to get cozy with your weapons, know them inside and out. Each gun in Bloodstrike has its quirks. Some are great for close combat, others for long range, and some, well, some are just there to make you look cool. Choosing the right weapon is like picking a dance partner. You don't want to end up with someone who steps on your toes. Get comfortable with your go-to weapons. Learn their recoil patterns, fire rate, and reload times. Practice switching between weapons quickly, because sometimes, a quick switch can save your life. And hey, don't forget to reload. Nothing's more embarrassing than running out of bullets mid-fight. Ever heard the saying, teamwork makes the dream work? Well, in Bloodstrike, it's true. If you're playing with a team, good communication can make all the difference. Use your mic. I know, I know, talking to strangers can be awkward, but trust me, it's worth it. 
Call out enemy positions, share your game plan, and support each other. Just don't be that guy who sings into the mic. No one wants to hear your karaoke skills in the middle of a match. And remember, it's not just about talking, it's about listening too. If your teammate says they spotted an enemy, trust them. Back them up and work together to take the enemy down. A well-coordinated team is like a well-oiled machine, and with good communication, you'll be unstoppable. This one's a bit tricky, but oh so important, stay calm under pressure. We've all been there, your heart's pounding, your palms are sweaty, and you're about to make a move that could make or break the game. In those moments, it's easy to panic and make mistakes. But if you can keep yourself cool, you'll have the upper hand. Stay calm like a cucumber, wait, that's not the phrase. Oh well, you get what I mean. Take a deep breath, focus on what's happening around you, and make calculated decisions. If you're too tense, you'll rush and end up making mistakes. But if you stay calm, you'll be able to think clearly and outmaneuver your opponents. This method works in 89% of cases, and trust me, you have no idea how powerful staying calm can be. You've got to try it. If staying calm feels impossible, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm dropping a video on that soon, plus so much more. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. After each match, take some time to analyze your gameplay. What did you do well? What mistakes did you make? This might sound boring, but it's super useful. Watch your replays, if possible, and see where you went wrong. Maybe you rushed in when you should have held back, or maybe you missed a key opportunity. Learn from your mistakes, and don't be too hard on yourself. Even the best players have bad games. The important thing is to keep improving. Finally, the key to developing good game sense is practice. And I mean a lot of it. You're not gonna become a blood strike genius overnight, but with time and dedication, you'll get there. Play regularly, try out different strategies, and challenge yourself. Practice makes perfect, or at least it makes you slightly less terrible. Don't just play the game, study it. Watch tutorials, learn from better players, and keep pushing yourself. The more you play, the better your game sense will become. Alright, gamers, that's a wrap. You've got all the tools you need to fix your bad game sense and start dominating in Bloodstrike. Remember, it's all about knowing the map, predicting enemy movements, timing your actions, mastering your weapons, communicating with your team, staying calm under pressure, analyzing your gameplay, and, of course, practicing like there's no tomorrow. So go out there, put these tips to use, and watch as you start outsmarting everyone else in the game. And hey, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your fellow gamers. Let's all get better together. Thanks for sticking with me. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.